Hey guys, it's Pastor Jerome, pastor here at Gateway. We got Friend Day coming up on November 13th, and I just wanted to share with you my own story about how a friend invited me. It really all started here at one of my old places where I used to live as a young man. I remember one morning when Hurricane Hugo was coming through, I looked out that little window right there, and I looked back here at a giant oak tree that was swaying in the breeze. And I remember that because it dawned on me that that tree would fall on the house, that would have been it. And I guess that was the day as a young man I really grasped my mortality and the fact that, you know, it's going to happen to all of us. But that day it really grabbed my attention. And what God was already doing beforehand was I was looking at my life and how I was living and didn't have much hope. I was doing things, I was drinking, I was drugging trying to find fulfillment and joy in this world. It wasn't. And I guess I realized just before Hugo came, the futility of my life without God. And I guess when I looked out the window that morning and saw that hurricane, I realized my mortality, that we're all gonna go somewhere. So that started me on my spiritual journey. That old place that we were at, that was an old home place. Right now we're looking at a former workplace when Hurricane Hugo came into town, I was supposed to start work that day. Needless to say, we didn't have work. They sent us back home and started again the next week. But the reason I want to share this with you, that if you go inside this building through the front there, and you go about 50 yards into the building and off to the right, you'll see a break area. And I know a lot of you that worked in factories, you know about break areas. There's tables and machines and microwave. But in that break area, first few days of my new job there was a sign posted on a wall that a guy was starting a new martial arts class well I went looking around and I saw a guy standing at the microwave and I asked him I said do you know anything about this karate class and he said yeah that's my class that guy's name was Perry Elliott and I was working with him and then he invited me to his karate school and I began working out and through working together and working out together we developed a friendship and that's the next part of my story I want to talk to you about. Okay, we're almost done when I'm talking about my spiritual journey. This is Perry. A lot of you at Gateway know him, Mr. Perry Elliott. He was my sensei and co-worker. And it was at this place. This used to be our dojo. Uh, we learned uh, karate and Aikido. And now it's of all things, it's a church. And I remember one day when uh, me and a friend were working out and we're standing just inside this door, about 12 feet inside that door on the mat. And we're standing around talking and Perry invited me to church. And it was just, just it just came out. He just said, I'd like to invite y'all to church sometime. And I think he might have said, get spiritually fed. Yes. And I remember that because where I talked about before with the futility of my life, and when Hurricane Hugo come through, I realized my mortality. I looked at Perry and I said, man, I might come. I know I need something. And I did. And I started going to church because of this man right here invited me. I was invited by a friend. Okay, here we are at the last leg uh, of this little story. Uh, Brother Perry had invited me to church and I started coming here to Drowning Creek Baptist Church. And uh, over here on the Cape Hickory Road. And I came for a while and... Uh, was enjoying the fellowship with the people and meeting new people and everything. But I remember the day that God got a hold of my heart and he showed me that I was a sinner and that Jesus Christ had died for my sins. And I remember that because service had actually dismissed and everybody's going down the aisle. I come up the aisle and I meet a guy up here, Larry Conger. A lot of you have met Larry. And he showed me in the scriptures where God says, if I call on the Lord, I could be saved. And I, it was over here on this over here on the right side of this altar, I knelt down and I said, God help me, and he did. He saved my soul. That was 27 years ago, and it all started because somebody invited me to church. I want to encourage you as God's people, pray about who God would have you to invite to Friend Day and see what God does in your life and somebody else's.